OK, so let's say I want to differentiate y equals x squared from first principles. Now, we should know that y equals x squared will differentiate to 2x. So that is the result that we should get from going through using this process. So, first of all, dy by dx is equal to the limit as h tends to 0 of f of x plus h. Now, f of x is this x squared. So this will be x plus h squared. OK, so f of x is x squared. f of x plus h is x plus h squared. So we've got take away f of x, so x squared, all over h. So what we need to do is simplify this. So we've got the limit as h tends to 0. That limit should maintain through the whole, um, the whole process. Okay. Now x plus h squared, we're going to need to expand that bracket. So we're going to get x squared plus 2hx plus h squared. That's that bracket. We've still got the takeaway x squared on the end. And we're dividing through by h. So now, the limit as h tends to 0 is of the x squareds cancel. I get left with 2hx plus h squared over h. Now this fraction we can simplify. So cancel h, top and bottom, leaves us with 2x plus h. So if you're thinking about what happens to 2x plus h as h tends to 0, well, the h gets smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller, and so this goes to just 2x. The h, uh, you effectively, I mean, this is a really bad form to say it, the h is kind of substituted for 0. That's a, well, that's a really bad way of saying it. I mean, what you've got to imagine is that the h gets smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller until it is negligible, OK? And so it makes no difference to what else is there. And so you'd be left with the 2x. So y, uh, y equals x squared differentiates to 2x. As we knew, OK, using our little trick of the 2 coming down to the front, taking 1 off the power, this is what's going on behind the scenes that allows that to happen. Okay, we're going to go through a few more examples in the coming videos.